And you thought Rad wasn't fertile. Ron came in two days ago and told me to grab the camera. He had something to show me up at the workshop, which is, I don't know, four or five, six hundred yards or feet from here. And we went up there. They had the generator going because they were working. And so how he ever heard it, I don't know. But one of our free-ranging hens had been setting on a nest of eggs underneath some uh, trees. She was on a kind of a high spot, but uh, it was sweet because it's been two years since we've had any hens that were setters and so it was sweet um, we have a little story here to tell you and this is how it all began maybe it's myrtle well, you thought red wasn't doing his job oh one of them rolled down she's got several a chick did? no eggs Egg, yeah I... She's setting. She sat. She sat. They're in there. <laughs> we were just talking about her this morning. Yeah, right here. Right here. I see one's rear end sticking out. See, he's looking right at me. Ornerly. Yes. Hi, hey, Mama. How'd you do, girl? You'd like to see how old they are. I haven't. This is the first time I've heard them. <laughs> it's all dry. I don't see it. It's right, it's rear end sticking out from her back feather down there on the ground. Oh. <laughs> so we have a heavy deluge coming, and we figured that we should probably get Mama and the chicks pinned up in a cage um, and under shelter so that there was no chance in the babies. Uh, drowning because sadly it has happened before with free range chickens. When the rain comes, mama tries to protect, and sometimes she doesn't foresee the dangers happening. Um, I know was, you're mad at us. It was laying down, I didn't know that it's foot was hot. And when I found that out, <laughs> Daddy yeah, picked, up on, on picked up one of the babies, she got out from under the basket, and I've never seen Daddy jump so quick. <laughs> <laughs> she grew fangs. He said that would have been a fun thing to get on video. Listen, it's for your own good. You're gonna go under yeah, you're gonna go under shelter. Uh-huh. And we'll prepare you a larger abode after today, okay? They're all under, yeah, they're all underneath you. She looks she looks in. I mean she, oh, I she, she is, is mean. She's a mom. She's protected. She has a right to be. She's 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 taking taking mama what are you trying to say? Mama when, bear. when trouble comes, Mama Bear comes out. Mama monkey? <laughs> you got a skeeter in your hair. Now she can make a nice little nest for him. Yes. Make it Stand under me, she says. Stand under me. This is for you. Aw, thank you. Is there coffee cake? There's going to be coffee cake. When? 
uh, when we go in and if we're listening to preaching, I'm going to make it. <laughs> oh, that's the kind of Sunday service I like. Come on, inside. Come on, inside. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We're going to have brunch during service. Have we the Ooh, I careful. <laughs> Do we have cherries to put on the uh, coffee cake? I don't have any cherries. Don't. I think we got cherries. We do a cherry pie one of these days? Yes, we can do a cherry pie one of these days. And what I really want to make, because I haven't really ever perfected it, is a cream Mama. cheese coffee cake. Mama. Mm. We have been locked out. Double cross. We got the... Hi, Molly. Who locked us out? Simeon! Wow. We know he's going after it. Huh, Molly. Mama, he's I am the puppy also child. sorry. I said the coffee cake will be mine. Charge the door! <laughs> oh, he locked us out because oh, you said the oh. coffee cake would be yours? I'm not sure. He started running to the door before I said oh. that. Our... <laughs> 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 I don't set Daisy in it. <laughs> no, let me <laughs> I'm gonna go I'll climb in that. No. And I'll puff and I'll hurt myself. <laughs> you let me in. How come you blocked us out? <laughs> what? How come you locked us out? Because all the coffee cake is mine. <laughs> hey, hey, I got news for you. Mama didn't make it yet. If I can't get in, I can't make it. We've always had the goats and chickens close to the houses that we've lived in, which is pretty standard for barnyards and old farms. Um, made it convenient for everybody involved and then keep an eye on the, the, that particular type of livestock. Um, we've not had any problems with predators, no wolves or bears being an issue on the goats. However, we have had wolves very close but thankfully still not an issue. But with all that said, we've decided because we've yet to build the permanent barn that we have dreamed of since we've been up here, it'll be small and cozy. Um, we're going to go ahead and move them back to us, closer to the cabin, once the large order is filled next month. And there's Molly. Molly May, you're a nut. You're a nut. Here comes your boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's my boy, she says. There's my boy. My best buddy. There's the up and coming milker. Good job, Simmy. Daddy, can I milk now? Uh, it's why I just started. Eight year list. How you doing, Vi? Somebody said you look like a typewriter eating the other day. What's a typewriter? I said corn on the cob, and they said, mind never of a typewriter. I thought that was pretty funny. She was waiting for the dean to go off. Back and forth. <laughs>
Alright, let's give Zebulon a turn. You find Vi easy to milk Zebulon? She's easier than the other goats because she has bigger udders. Bigger teeth? <laughs> bigger teeth. Yeah, I find her easier to milk. She a pretty nice goat.